Hello and welcome to Research Supports Future Growth. Episode 2, Agroliquid Sustainability. One of the concerns some growers might have is that the lower applied rates of agroliquid are not sustainable. However, just because a fertilizer is applied to the soil does not mean that it will feed the plant because fertilizer is generally quite inefficient. Phosphate fertilizer is, and phosphate in general is one of the least efficient uh, plant nutrients there is. That's because of differences in charge. It's negative charge. A lot of the elements in the soil called cations are positively charged. And when those get together, they'll form an insoluble precipitate that the plant cannot absorb. So you lose all that phosphate because the plant will never be able to take it up. So what does agroliquid do to prevent this? You might have heard the term uh, flavanol. That's where we make a long chain phosphate polymer, many units long, and then we encapsulate it in a material called a flavanol. And since it's placed in the root zone, it's going to break down and feed the uh, plant phosphate. However, while it is encapsulated, there's no place for the cations to attach. And so it is protected against tie-up. So this greatly increases the usability of progerminator. So like in this plant here, we put the fertilizer right here at planting, so it's still feeding the plant all that time, well into the growing season. Another illustration I like to use is putting a glove on your hand to protect it against the cold. Similarly, we have an encapsulation of the hand or the phosphate polymer with a material that protects it. And then, since it's organic, it will slowly break down over time, releasing part of the phosphate polymer, and then it breaks down and feeds the plant over time. This is what the extended usability of progerminator is. And so even though we're putting on a low rate, we have high efficiency. And it's been proven that low rate times high efficiency is going to feed that plant just as well as a high rate of conventional fertilizer times their low efficiency. So the research illustration that we're using this week is called Making the Most of Applied Crop Nutrition. And this is what we call our long-term study at the NCRS, where we ran the same fertilizer programs in the same plots in a corn-soybean rotation for five years, 2011 through 2015. The soil test called for a 180-30-60. So we put on either nitrogen only, got a five-year average of 189.7, or a conventional program, which had fall potash, 10-34-0 and 28%, five-year average of 205.8, a total dry program, which was fall potash, then spring urea, dap, and some zinc, went five-year average, very similar to the conventional, other conventional, 205.1. But over that same five-year period, an infero application of progerminator and SureK and Micro 500, a side dress application of 28 and enhance, went 211.9 bushels per acre, showing, again, that Agroliquid is the most efficient fertilizer that you can find today.